Are you having trouble finding the right handguard for your AR-3 weight or AR-10 firearm? We understand it's not an easy task, so in this video we're hoping to clarify any confusion and shed some light on the chaos that is the AR-3 weight platform. Welcome back to the Samson Innovation Center. My name is Ryan, and today we're going to review the most common AR-308 upper receivers that you may encounter. We'll also show you how to determine which height receiver you may have, which is critical when purchasing handguards or other accessories. In the AR-308 realm, there has never been any established military or industry standard for parts compatibility, as with the AR-15. It's important to note that the term AR-10 is brand specific and refers to the Armalite pattern of 308 rifles, originally developed by Eugene Stoner in the 1950s. Over the years, it has become a generic term used to describe any AR pattern rifle chambered in 308. This is problematic because there are key differences between the AR-10 and other more common AR-308 rifle platforms when it comes to parts compatibility. The two most important details in identifying the upper receiver profile are the distance from bore axis to top of the receiver and barrel nut thread pattern. There are four main upper receiver profiles, Armor Light AR-10, DPMS LR-308 Low, DPMS LR-308 High, and DPMS LR G2. The DPMS LR-308 High and Low Profile Upper Receivers both use the same barrel nut thread pattern, 1 and 7 16 by 16 TPI, but what sets them apart is that they have different dimensions from bore axis to top of the receiver. Armalite AR-10 Upper Receivers share the same height as the DPMS High Profile Upper Receivers, but the Armalite uses a thread pattern of 1 and 7 16 by 18 TPI, which requires a different barrel nut. Armalite receivers also have an angled cut at the back of the receiver, which TPMS style receivers have a rounded cut. However, some manufacturers will make receivers with the Armalite angled cut, but then use the TPMS pattern threads or incorporate other proprietary components. The best practice when assembling your own AR-308 would be to purchase the upper, lower, and any other critical components from the same manufacturer to guarantee compatibility. Now let's get into the DPMS LRG2. This is a completely different animal than the previously mentioned platforms. It uses a different barrel nut with a thread pattern of 1 and 5 16 by 18 TPI and was designed to have the same exact distance from bore axis to the top of the receiver as an AR-15. The lower receiver shares the same external dimensions as an AR-15, starting at the magazine release and going all the way back to the buffer tube. These design choices allowed the platform to have the exact same user interface and manual of arms as the AR-15 eliminating the need for extra time to train on a larger AR-308 platform. It was also much lighter weight than previous versions of DPMS LR-308 rifles. Now if you already have a 308 upper receiver and are unsure which profile it is, you will need to measure the receiver tang. To be as accurate as possible, we recommend using a set of calipers. The tang is the section receiver right above the charging handle. Low profile DPMS receivers will measure 0 0.150 inches, DPMS high profile and Armalite receivers will measure 0 0.210 inches, and DPMS LRG2 receivers will measure about 0.19 inches. Next, check the receiver barrel nut threads using a thread gauge. Armalite AR10 profile receivers will have 18 threads per inch, DPMS high and low profile receivers will have 16 threads per inch, and DPMS LRG2 receivers will have 18 threads per inch. If you're unable to take these measurements or you're still unsure about your receiver type, it's always best to contact the manufacturer of your firearm and ask them any questions you have. Samson Manufacturing offers a variety of handguard options for each of these upper receiver types. For DPMS high profile or Armalite AR10 upper receivers, Check out the SXS Lightweight, SXS 762, and Star 10. For DPMS Low Profile Upper Receivers, check out the SXS Lightweight, SXS 762, and DPMS Evolution Series. It's important to select the correct upper receiver profile from the drop down menu on our website when placing an order. If you're looking for a DPMS LRG2 handguard and your firearm has the factory AP4 barrel nut, the Samson DPMS G2 Evolution Handguard Series is a perfect match. If you do not have the factory AP4 barrel nut, the Samson DPMS G2 SXT handguard comes with a proprietary barrel nut for use of this handguard only. So that's the current lowdown on the various AR-308 receivers as of mid-2021. New offerings coming on the market could vary from the examples we've covered here. Even if standards are adopted at some point, there will always be potential for confusion with so many variations already in circulation. Again, if you're in doubt about your specific receiver, we recommend you contact the manufacturer for confirmation. If you have any questions for us, please leave them in the comment section below. Hit like and subscribe if you enjoy our content and look for us on social media too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.